All right. Our next guest used the recession of 2008 as an excuse to quit his job and become an entrepreneur. He is now the co-founder of Grouchy John's Copy, which over the last six years has grown into two mobile units and a brick and mortar shop. Please put your hands together for the entirely overly caffeinated JJ Wiley, come on out. What up? Hey, how's it going, Welcome man? Welcome to the show. Have a oh, seat. Man. So let's start by talking about how you and Grouchy John met. I mean, you're co-founders, but your name's not even Roll in the college title. college buddies. We, yeah. met, we met at UNLV, a couple of UNLV graduates. So uh, we were so housemates. You, and do you, you try to get your name? Like, did you originally propose, like, Grouchy JJ? Or? Oh, that's a bad story. Um, he originally, he's the founder. He, it was his idea to start the company. And uh, he had some really bad names. He comes from the tech world. He worked in a couple of local startups. Oh, yeah, got to misspell uh, everything. Yeah, yeah, and he had some really bad names, like uh, like Red Hat Roasters and, and, and Ubuntu Coffee, just really horrible stuff. And... Uh, so we were sitting there going over names, the yeah, and uh, and he got to the end of the list and none of them had worked, and so finally someone in the in the family goes, why don't we just call it Grouchy Johns, and uh, it stuck. All right, so that's good. Yeah. Although, why would they just say let's call it Grouchy Johns? Like, was it? Is he grouchy? He's a pretty grouchy. All right, so let's talk about coffee. Like, you know, as entrepreneurs, most of the people that come on our show, they think small business and I don't know why, but they, they don't really think coffee. So why, like, why did you think Vegas needed more coffee when you have things like Starbucks that dominate so hard? It's one of the few things that we're both passionate about. It's one of the few habits we're both, uh, we can both still indulge in. And, uh, so, and we recognize that at First Friday, I don't know if you guys know First Friday yeah, First downtown. Friday. Um, we had noticed back in 2009, 2008, that no one uh, was serving coffee at First Friday, so we decided to uh, take advantage of that. All those people there. Nobody, nobody had that vision except you. Right. And uh, so we took, we took over a little booth at First Friday and, uh, frankly, didn't think it would last. And uh, we've, it's been going ever since. Okay. <laughs> so, so you just said a second ago, you said... It's like the only thing you guys are you know, still addicted to. What did that mean? What else were you addicted to before, <laughs> before caffeine? Uh, well, I mean, we did meet in college, so there was a fair amount of beer drinking. Oh, involved. beer drinking, yes. So yeah. you're over that now, though. I hear there's going to be shots after this, right? There will be, yes. Yeah. So we're going to get you back into it if you're ready, yeah. Good. I'm going to um, need it. Can you tell me a story of your last beer bong? My last beer bong? Yeah, just no. you know, who was around cheering you on. Uh, had yeah. to be some fraternity brothers. Uh, hopefully there were some girls there. And um, <laughs> I don't remember how it ended. Okay. What fraternity are you in? A uh, fraternity called TKE. I don't know if it's even still around. Okay, so, um, so one of the great things about Grouchy John's Copy is that you did put community at the center of what you're doing. And that's one of the main reasons we had you on the show. So do you want to just share with other entrepreneurs what you did to get the community to rally the way well, you have? Well, I mean, uh, we knew that we wanted to be a part of a growing community. Um, we didn't want to just be a store that was open up in a random strip mall. Um, we wanted to connect with people. And um, so we started at First Friday, uh, full of uh, uh, the local artists artistic talent, and, uh, and we grew uh, through the school district as well, and just started connecting with local organizations. Our, our pet charity isn't a real popular one, it's uh, Child Haven. Uh, That's the why they need you there, yeah, yeah to make so it more popular. It's not a real sexy Child Haven? Yeah. charity, uh, <laughs> but these are, these are by definition uh, the kids who uh, have been taken out of, uh, uh, taken by the county and uh, are wow. put in protective custody. So they're kids with nothing. And um, so twice a year we have our semi-annual donation event for them. And it's, uh, it's a cause that's close to our hearts. Yeah, that's, I, I love that. That's very cool. Um, so, you know, I, I live downtown. And since I got here three years ago, I always went to the beat. The, that coffee shop was the heart of everything. Before, you know, when they tore down the Motel 6 and built Container Park, it was there before that. It was there before every business that's on Fremont East almost. Yeah, the, the Beat was a special coffee place. And it was, you know, I, it was because of the, the, the history and the things that happened there, and it felt so indie. Um, any chance you would bring a Grouchy John's downtown? We love downtown. We've, uh, 
We've been we've been looking at putting something downtown for a while. We just we just haven't found the right set of circumstances. But if it happens, uh, I'd love it. Did you guys go up? You brought it downtown. <laughs> I think it would be awesome. All right. JJ, you have a shirt that says "The Grouchy Nation." Looks kind of like something a wrestler would do to get his fans <laughs> up and running. Is is that what it is? What's the Grouchy Nation? The Grouchy Nation consists of anyone who. Uh, has come in the doors of our shop and enjoyed what they what they experienced there. Um, so we're very loyal to uh, to so the. So you can't who join the nation until you've had the coffee. Well, as long as you come in, you don't have to have coffee. What if you share the beliefs with the others, but you haven't been there yet? Oh, then then yeah, you're part of it. Yeah. Oh, as cool. Okay, connect, cool. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> we like to have a lot of fun on uh, on social media. <laughs> And, uh, and anyone who joins in that fun is a member of the Grouchy Nation. So. All right. You guys ready to join up? Yeah. All so, right. Because I got lots of things I can complain about if that's part of the rules. Absolutely. You guys got anything you want to complain about? Yeah. Let's get a coffee and go grouch. Absolutely. <laughs> You're all welcome. All right. Thank you so much for coming out, JJ. They can check you out on the corner of Maryland and Wigwam. And they can also find you on Instagram, just Grouchy John. You got a great name. Thank you. All right, everybody, let's go check it out. Give them a big round of applause. Thank you very much. Appreciate you coming out. Maryland and Wigwam.